the story of the introduction of the F-35 is really a, is really much like the CF-18 was more than three decades ago when I first flew it. I was the first young pilot picked to fly the CF-18 and that airplane was a dramatic leap in technology and capability for, the, for Canada in, that, in the day. And the airplane evolved over the more than 30 years of service in three different combat operations. None of those missions had been envisioned in the beginning. No one had thought that the airplane would do those roles. When you leap ahead to where we're at with the F-35, I think it's the same story. I think it's an airplane with astonishing capability in terms of sensors and sensor fusion and stealth that will allow Canada to do the missions that aren't even projected yet. It will certainly allow Canada to protect both coastlines and the vast expanse of the Arctic more in a more effective fashion than anything that I was ever exposed to in my years flying F-18s, F-16s, or Typhoon. I think in terms of interoperability and coalition warfare, it is an airplane that will fit seamlessly with all the other coalition forces and allow it to be included in wherever the world needs that airplane to go and whatever combat operations they're assigned to.